Hey folks, it's been some time! Finally, the stars were aligned, no rain or whatever, the sun was shining and so I'm here again with a new video. Today, a lesson muy importante, the wonderful position of Seconda. So, the second position in rapier is very strong. We should already know it is formed by turning the rapier hand another 90 degrees from the first one. The strength of this position comes from a more natural positioning compared to the first guard. The reach is superb, cavazioni are done really easily, but again we need to practice a lot for the arm to adjust since it may get a bit tiring. One advice. If you would like to lunge into second, you should not start from a second guard. Besides one exception. You will achieve the strongest momentum after you turn to second either from the third or the fourth guard. Seconda is also great for passing below the opponent's sword. The angle which the hand forms provides a natural protection. When you see your opponent has their sword extended quite high, don't hesitate. Wait for the correct tempo and attack from below. Do not forget to lean your head out of the strike. The basic guard in second is formed by holding the rapier ideally extended in front of our body. If we would like to lure the opponent into attacking us, we may hold it a bit more on the side. Our primary response to people attacking into our second should be just a simple turn into fourth, catching their attack on the strong part of our blade. Depending on the situation, we may also use a girata to avoid even better with our body. This second guard is really special. We don't see it much in tournaments or being used by rapiers in general, but let me tell you honestly, if you will learn to use this guard properly and understand its advantages, you will see it's one of the best out there. Also, this guard is fantastic to use with the dagger. When in this guard, we should carefully position our body so that the sword is held in front of the chest, the head is hiding behind the blade and also the legs are kept behind. Otherwise, both the exposed head and legs are an easy target for sniping cuts. Our primary attack should be extending of our arm in the second, the one exception I was talking about in the beginning. When your opponent approaches towards you, pull your sword towards your chest and when they enter the misura larga or you feel the distance is right, just extend your arm and go for the hit. If the opponent is waiting, change the guard. You can also use it offensively when your opponent stands in an angled guard. Approach them carefully and when you see the occasion, shoot your arm forward for a quick attack. You will give your opponent a hard time since it is not easy for them to meter the distance as if you were approaching with an extended sword. Alternatively, you may just turn away with a girata and thrust your opponent into their chest or belly from below. Fabrice shows another special kind of seconda, this time with the sword withdrawn and the body held in an oblique manner. Although it looks difficult, the opposite is true. It is like if you were pulling a bowstring and your sword was an arrow waiting to be released. When your opponent approaches you, pull your sword to your body. In the moment you see their point has come near yours, shoot your sword forward into fourth position and depending on what you see as the best, either step on the side with the right foot or use a girata. Both are great, with the girata providing less chances for your opponent to hit you. Be careful, when your opponent passes way too much with their point near your blade, you may get hit very easily. Therefore, pay always attention and shoot your arm first, and never the body. Seconda is suited even more to parry a cut than the first guard. Provoke a cut by pushing the opponent's sword to the side, parry his strike with your extended sword and thrust them into their chest. A nice example of how to use the pass below the blade can be like this. When you approach your opponent, try to offer them your blade. When they try to seize the opportunity to turn into quarta, Immediately turn your sword into seconda, lower your body and hit them beneath their blade. There are many ways of how we can use the offhand for parry. Although Salvador Fabriz suggests we should use the offhand parries ideally as an option of the last resort, it's not all that bad with them. 
Here are two nice examples of the parries along with the thrust into seconda. In the first one, give your opponent an invitation, parry them with the hand from above and thrust directly with seconda into their chest. Or, if they try to thrust you again into your cavazione, push their blade downward to your right side and thrust them to their neck. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching my fifth video in the Learn Rapier series. Just two more videos about the guards to go. So, see you soon!